Do you ever feel like you get stuck in a vicious cycle of feeling stressed and feeling unhealthy where being stressed causes you health issues and then health issues increase your stress even more? Well, today I am sharing scientific studies on how your diet can actually kick off this vicious cycle or end it and how your diet can actually make you more susceptible to stress depending on what you eat. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a full-time research scientist with my PhD, and by day I conduct and publish studies of my own, whereas by night I share the results of other studies here to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, health, and nutrition goals. And today I am focusing on one specific factor in the vicious cycle between stress and health issues, specifically because of how stress actually depletes a certain resource of ours, and being depleted in that resource causes us to be more susceptible to being more stressed out even by the same events that usually wouldn't cause us as much stress. And this title actually does double duty because I'll be focusing on one vitamin that you'll want more of if you wanna be less stressed according to the studies and one vitamin that might actually be getting in the way of your ability to break this vicious cycle. And then at the end, I'll talk about some things that I think most people don't really know about how to solve the vitamin issue I'm about to talk about. So stick around till the end if you want a deeper understanding of all this stuff. When something happens in our life and we get stressed, it can really deplete our body's resources in a physiological sense. In particular, when we have chronic stress that happens over a long period of time, such as a stressful relationship or a stressful job or chronic health issues, it can really deplete us. And I'll get more specific about what we're depleting in a moment. And studies that have directly looked at how stress depletes our body's various resources have looked at things like sleep deprivation and stressful exams and being exposed to traffic noise and even acts of intolerance. And with all these different kinds of stress, one very consistent finding is that being stressed depletes your magnesium levels. And as you probably already know, magnesium is a very important mineral for our body that is needed in all sorts of different processes and is important for mental health as well. So it shouldn't be all that surprising to us that magnesium might be important in the vicious cycle of stress and health issues. But I think what most people don't know is that studies suggest that being low in magnesium actually increases our reactions to stress. So it makes us more susceptible to feeling stressed out by any given thing. So for example, this has been shown very directly in animal studies where having magnesium deficient animals causes them to have much stronger stress reactions to the same stimuli. And in human studies, it's been found that people who have lower intakes of magnesium in their diets are more likely to report feeling stressed and depressed and anxious. And more importantly, it's been found that when stressed out people take magnesium supplements or add more magnesium to their diet, they report feeling less stressed and they also have lower physiological markers of stress like heart rate variability and cortisol. And to put it in more concrete terms, let's say you're at work and your coworker is really rude or annoying to you. These studies suggest that if you are low in magnesium, so you're magnesium deficient, you are much more likely to react in a stressed out fashion to the very same thing. So your coworker being rude to you could be something you're easily able to brush off when you are high in magnesium, but might have more trouble brushing off and instead get very stressed out by if you are low in magnesium. Now you may be thinking, well, I'm probably fine on magnesium because my blood tests have always come back okay. But it should be noted that Magnesium blood tests are notoriously not very useful because the vast majority, about 99% of our magnesium, is in our bones and our muscles, whereas only 1% of it is in our blood. And our blood levels can fluctuate based on the current situation, so how much magnesium gets mobilized from our bones and muscles in any given moment. And another fact that isn't discussed much, unless you're a regular here, is the fact that other things that are generally beneficial for you can actually deplete your magnesium or hinder your absorption of it. So for example, taking big doses of vitamin D can actually deplete your magnesium. If you're interested in more information on that, check out my video specifically on that after you're done with this one. And similarly, taking big doses of zinc can also hinder your absorption of magnesium. And it might be the same thing with calcium, but that's not as clear cut. And also proton pump inhibitors like Prilosec can also really lower your magnesium. And so what all these studies suggest is that magnesium is a key player in a potential vicious cycle where being stressed depletes your magnesium and then being low in magnesium makes you more likely to get stressed out. And so this would form a vicious cycle of being stressed, getting lower in magnesium, which makes you more stressed, which makes you even lower in magnesium. And what we can conclude from this is that if you find yourself stuck in sort of a cycle of stress and feeling unhealthy and having lower energy and fatigue and anxiety and all that, it might be able to be helped by 
making sure you're getting enough magnesium, as well as any stress reduction techniques you might be able to work in. So if you are doing any of these things that are known to reduce magnesium, or if you have a diet that is low in magnesium, then it seems like a really solid way to improve your health and decrease your stress would be to get more magnesium in your diet. Another option is supplementing, but I definitely do not suggest you go out and start taking big doses of magnesium. I think the whole mega dosing vitamin culture is actually causing more problems than it's solving because for example, a lot of studies suggest that taking too much vitamin D as is often recommended all over YouTube is actually depleting people's magnesium and causing magnesium deficiency, which then makes people unable to use vitamin D, which again, check out this video if you're interested or if you have vitamin D deficiency that is not being corrected even by large doses of vitamin D. But for a general approach that I think is best, unless you have been actually diagnosed with a serious deficiency, is to make slow and steady lifestyle changes where you incorporate more of these nutrients in a reasonable amount in your daily life. So eating more highly nutritious foods and taking a multivitamin or small supplements perhaps, rather than going out and megadosing. And of course, another implication of all this is that you might be able to break this cycle or help stop it by working on your stress, which I imagine you've already thought about and are trying to do if you are worried about your stress in the first place. But things like exercise, journaling, staying off social media if it's causing you problems, and making sure you're getting enough sleep should all do a lot towards helping you break this cycle of stress and magnesium depletion. For a list of foods that are high in magnesium, again, check out this other video because I already have a big list there. So you can think of this one as a part two, I guess. <laughs> and if you want to make research requests where I do deep dives in the scientific literature for a question you have, or if you want bonus content or to see video topics in advance and things like that, head on over to my Patreon. And if you wanna support me in making videos with a one-time donation, then head on over to the GoFundMe. So I hope you found this video helpful or at least interesting. And if you liked it, please hit the like button below and share it so that other people can get this information. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.